Welcome back. I had a request for the rocket motor to be printed on the Prusa XL and that is a default that comes already loaded on the USB so I was anxious to see how that would turn out. It is preloaded at 0.2 layer height with the stock 0.6 nozzle. It will take a little over 18 hours for this print so it took a little while for me to get around to wanting to print something this long but I do really want to see how it turns out. It is preloaded as a PLA filament, so I went with the Overture Silk Royal Blue. I have not printed the rocket motor before, and I was surprised at how overall hollow it is. It's not spiral base or anything like that, it's just the overall shell that it starts to print is pretty hollow. The default, of course, prints in the lower left corner because that is more efficient. And then I switched the view so you could get a little bit more detail face on. I did not realize that you could still see the filament in the corner, but that's all part of 3D printing. Plenty of filament laying around. I came back in and checked on things a little bit later and noticed I had a couple pieces of blue filament sitting on the ground. So at some point here, something happens. I'm recording in time lapse, so it's taking pictures about every 16 seconds. It's not recording and then speeding up. So at some point here, the bed actually moves down just a little bit in the video. I don't know if you caught it, it's so fast. And the only thing I can think is that maybe there was a little bit of extra filament that the head hit and cracked off one of the actual arms of this motor engine. And that was the pieces that I found on the ground. So at this point, it's starting to print in space, of course. I still didn't realize what happened until I looked at this in person and saw on the back side that it does not look right. Right there. So clearly this print did not turn out perfect. But let's take a closer look. Let's see how everything else looks. Let me mute out all the other crazy machines going in the background. The print looks pretty good overall. There is just a little bit of a layer line that you can see right there. The detail overall is really good. But yeah, that back side, there's just no way of fixing that. I'm pretty disappointed because this is a long print. Should I just start it over again? These are the pieces that I found on the ground that printed and then broke off. So those, yeah, it's it looks about right to where it should have, it started to, the layers started to mess up a little bit. So I looked at it again. Overall, did I like the print? Was this just a fluke? The, you know, everything else looks pretty good. The top looks great. The underside looks great. The seam looks great. It's kind of crazy in the inside. It looks just a little bit crooked, but on the outside, that seam is really straight and perfect. Everything looks really good, except for that back side. Even the little badge at the top, the XL, everything printed really good. So I decided, of course, that I needed to print it again. I changed it a little bit. I pulled it back into slicer, put it directly in the middle, and I flipped it 180 degrees so that that side that printed funny would be facing me. I would see it immediately, and that would be more obvious if something did happen. Also in the past, I felt like when I would upgrade to a new printer, new slicer, it would have not just the G-code that was already pre-sliced, but it would also have a 3MF file so you could see it, make any modifications you needed. I don't know if I messed up when I updated the slicer and added the XL, but all I had was the G codes, the same as that were loaded on the USB. So I had to kind of backward import them into slicer. At this point, it shows the motor engine at 100% scale. Obviously, it's much larger for the XL. 
it ends up being about 12 and a half inches tall and a little over six inches in diameter. That translates to about 32 centimeters tall and right around 15 centimeters in diameter. So it is a very large print. Also, it recommended a couple of auto fixes. And whenever I would try to go ahead and have it do this for me, it would freeze and close. So I did not end up doing any of the auto fixes. I believe it's for the next fab. I just went ahead and flipped it around, recentered it, and sliced it as is. Of course, I kept checking on this print multiple times. I wanted to make sure it did not have the same issue at the same height. And every time that I checked on it, I did not see any skips. I did not see any filament on the ground. Okay, so let's check this print out. We are facing the side that had the issue. There is nothing that fell. There is no bridging issues on this at all. Everything along the top looks great. The bottom looks great. The seam is the same inside. Something I did when I resliced it, I did not have the same seam consistent throughout on the outside as the original print. Overall, they look very similar, but as you can see, the one that I resliced has the back side that did work out. It looks great and I'm very impressed with it. I have no idea what happened. If it was just a fluke or me re-slicing that ended up fixing it, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.